Welcome to World Inheritance. Today we will talk about the meanings of pharaonic symbols, symbols of ancient Egyptian civilization. The ancient Egyptians used many symbols to express a different set of ideas and concepts. They also used them to decorate temples, represent their religion and their gods, and sometimes to make talismans to get rid of difficulties. Below are some of the symbols of ancient Egyptian civilization and their meanings. 1. The Key of Life Symbol The Key of Life Symbol is known as a symbol resembling the shape of a cross, and it is considered the most famous ancient Egyptian symbol, which indicates eternal life. The ancient Egyptians used to put this symbol on their hands, as it represented the gods, which they consider to be masters of eternal life, and the symbol of the Key of Life was used as a talisman that they wore or made mirrors from. 2. Symbol of the Eye of Horus Horus is known as the God of the Sky, who was embodied in the form of a falcon, or the body of a man with the head of a falcon, so it was the symbol of the Eye of Horus. It symbolizes good health and protection, and the story behind the symbol is the story of Horus, who was seeking revenge for his father after he was killed by his son Seth. During his confrontation with Seth, he lost his left eye, so the god Tut returned it to him, then Horus presented it to bring his father back to life, so it symbolized the eye of Horus also led to sacrifice, according to mythology. 3. The symbol of the grandfather's column. The symbol of the grandfather's column is known as a long column with a wide base. As it rises, the space narrows, and at the top it intersects with four parallel lines. This symbol indicates stability, in addition to reminding the individual of the existence of the gods. It is also linked to resurrection and eternal life, so it is found in coffins because they believe that it helps souls stand and walk in the afterlife, and this symbol is considered one of the oldest symbols, as it appeared about 6,000 to 3,150 years BC. 4. The scepter symbol The scepter symbol symbolizes royal power and sovereignty and strength, and its shape is a stick with the head of a dog or a fox, and it is often held by the gods, and its color changes according to the person or goddess holding it. For example, the scepter held by R.A. Horicti or the goddess of sunrise was blue in color and symbolizes the sky. 5. The symbol of the eye of R.A. myths differed about the meaning of the symbol of the eye of R.A., as it was said that it is the right eye of Horus, then its name changed in ancient times, and that it symbolizes the same symbol as the eye of Horus, and it also embodies many gods, such as Wadjet and Hathor. 6. The symbol of the lotus flower. In the pharaonic civilization, there were two types of lotus flower. The first type was the white lotus, which symbolized new birth. The second type was the blue lotus, which symbolized the unification of the two Egyptian kingdoms. In addition, it was used in perfumes, as a painkiller, and as an antispasmodic. 7. The cobra symbol The cobra symbol refers to protection and guarding the gates of the underworld by helping the royal family cross into the underworld. It was also associated with many gods such as the sun god, kings, and their families. 8. The Shun Ring symbol is known as the Shun Ring symbol. In the pharaonic civilization, a circular ring, which has neither beginning nor end, symbolizes eternity, and this symbol was often placed on the claws of divine birds. 9. The Urboros is an ancient symbol that depicts the serpent or dragon, Bayaka Delhi. Its origin goes back to ancient Egyptian iconography. The Orboros entered the Western tradition in Greek magical traditions and was adopted as a symbol in Gnosticism and Hermeticism, especially in alchemy. According to Madame Blavatsky's teachings, Ouroboros symbolizes immortality, eternity, like Hinduism, the great serpent Anantashisha, in me is imagined as seven Russians and with the same immortality and infinity itself an endless cycle of evolution within eternity, immortality. The circle of necessity, according to the Egyptians, or the multiple incarnations, incarnations, of the soul in the cyclical journey of evolution. Wisdom. The snake has always been a great symbol of wisdom in all nations throughout history and is revered in world religions and philosophies. The circle is an ancient symbol of perfection. 10. The winged sun or the winged sun disk is an ancient religious symbol connected to the ancient civilizations of the Near East in the Fertile Crescent region, especially in Mesopotamia and ancient Egypt, 
It is considered one of the oldest symbols on the face of the earth and symbolizes divinity, life, and justice. In Mesopotamia, in the Assyrian civilization, the winged sun disc represents the sun god. It is also present in an inscription by Ashurnasirpal II from Nimrud, Kala, in northern Iraq. It appears in many Assyrian, Babylonian, and Persian inscriptions. In ancient Egypt, it represents the absolute authority of the sun god Re and the deity Pharaoh. The sun disc appears at the top of Karnak Temple. It also appears in hieroglyphic inscriptions in the pharaonic civilization with the wings of Horus. 11. The scarab was symbolized by the ancient Egyptians as a symbol of goodness. They considered it a symbol of the creator god. Then this insect became the one that expressed in the ancient Egyptian language the meaning of creation, which has been associated since ancient times with the god of Heliopolis, Adam, and then with the god Ra, who was worshipped in the same city later. In its previous symbolism, the scarab was closely linked to a belief that spread among the Egyptians and dominated their religious life. They made of it an amulet that protected its owner from evil and an adornment that people used to adorn themselves. It was placed on the chests of mummies. Mostly, it was made of faience or hard stones, such as granite and basalt, and also of agate, lapis lazuli, and other semi-precious stones. The ancient Egyptians began using the scarab as a seal since the late Old Kingdom, and they engraved some engraved marks on its interior to seal a piece of clay. They fastened it with a thick thread, to which they tied the lid of a vessel or a box, or a papyrus file, so marks appear on the surface of the clay to ensure its integrity and that it has not been tampered with. Since the Middle Kingdom, the scarab began to be used as an amulet, while some kings of the New Kingdom began using it to record some official occasions, such as a royal marriage or going out in hunting processions and so on. As did King Amenhotep III and other kings, in addition to this, he used the scarab to record a text from the Book of the Dead. This type is known as the scarab of the heart, and it was often placed in the place of the heart in the corpse. In the eyes of the ancient Egyptians, Kabar, which means the scarab, is considered the god who created himself by himself, because they believed that he was a male, not a female. His name is identical to the Egyptian word that means existence. We may sometimes see him as a falcon represented by two wings spread out as a symbol of the sun, and he began to depict the sun god Ra in mourning, which played a wide role in beliefs and in building the thought of the solar religion, because of its association with the sunrise in the morning. Egyptian Scarab in Tomb 6 in the Valley of the Kings 12. The Shepherd's Staff, Haka, and the Flail, an agricultural tool, Ankh, were symbols used in ancient Egyptian society and were originally attributes of the god Osiris, who became a symbol of ancient Egyptian authority. The shepherd's staff was a symbol of royalty and the flail of the fertility of the land. A well-known example of a royal shepherd's staff is from Nakata Altania from tomb U547 in Abydos. In the late pre-dynastic years, the shepherd's staff was an established symbol of rule. The flail was preferred separately at first, and was depicted alone for royal celebrations. Around the time of the Second Dynasty, the shepherd's staff and flail remained double, the staff and the flail, despite their differences from the scepter. They may be depicted coupled with another type of scepter, but they are most commonly represented together, held over the chests of kings or Osiris or other gods identified with them. They were royal insignia and other gods could present them. The only existing ancient Egyptian examples of a shepherd's staff and flail come from the tomb of Tutankhamun. They were made of heavy bronze covered with alternating lines of obsidian, precious stone, and gold. The bracelet's beads were made of gilded wood. Thirteen mots feather, a symbol of truth, morality, and the balance of justice. The feather is considered a symbol of the goddess Mot. The heart of the dead will be weighed against the feathers of the deceased on the day of resurrection. If a person's heart was honest, it would be equal to the weight of a feather and that person would be allowed to enter the realm of Osiris. If this heart is filled with sin, it will be heavier than feathers and this person will be taken to be preyed upon by the monsters of Amut. 
It is the responsibility of the Pharaoh to establish and maintain the law of Ma'at as a means of maintaining the balance of the cosmic order. When an icy Pharaoh dies, Ma'at will temporarily disappear and the world will plunge into chaos once again. Until a new Pharaoh rises. Point 14. The Hook and the Hook, a symbol of royal power and authority. Hooks and twists are often combined as a pair, commonly used by the Middle Kingdom dynasty a symbol used as a staff emphasizing the king's strength and power. The pair originate from 